these three YouTube tips for business channels will help you get started on YouTube right now. Watch to the end and I'll give you my fourth secret ingredient that will enable you to generate leads into your business using online video. Let's get started. Tip one, decide on a schedule and stick to it. This might sound obvious, but it really is the core principle behind creating videos on YouTube. If you're not planning when you're going to sit down and research and prepare your videos, you're also not setting yourself up for success at the other end. What generally happens when you don't plan is your video is not concise and does not deliver the message as well as it could. And it doesn't take the user on a journey that keeps them engaged and watching. When your message isn't delivered in the best possible way, YouTube detects this and stops showing your content to new people. They prioritize other channels content instead. So by scheduling time into your diary to research and prepare your video, it means you have the best possible chance of reaching more people and growing your YouTube channel. My advice when you are just starting out is to schedule time in weekly with the intention to create one awesome video a week. You can obviously adapt the timing to suit you, but this seems to be a manageable guide for most businesses. The reason I suggest creating one per week is that you can review and learn from each upload. It's easier to make small incremental changes than attempt everything all at once. But as some of you may already be thinking, it's not the most time effective method. When you find your channel is growing and the content you're creating is converting, then move into bulk recording. Bulk recording is where you research and prepare multiple videos all at once. You then spend one day recording them back to back. I have clients that record 12 videos in one day with a videographer. They maximize their time and minimize the expense, but this approach results in professional footage to use for the next three months. There's no reason you cannot do the same, but do consider if you're just starting out, you want to hone your camera skills first and get familiar with what works with your audience before up-leveling your production quality. Tip two, give pure value during your videos. As a business, you have either products or services to sell. And this is probably the reason you want to grow a business YouTube channel. But there's a secret that absolutely no one tells you, and that is no one wants what you're selling on YouTube. The moment you start talking about your services or the products you offer, your viewers will switch off. They move to a video that is helping them solve the problem for free. They don't want to pay for the problem to be resolved. You are talking to the do-it-yourself person when you make a YouTube video. Well, what does this mean? Well, if you want people to watch your videos, grow your audience, increase your awareness, and attract new people into your business, you need to start helping them for free to build a relationship with you. I don't mean give away all your trade secrets or put all your premium courses on YouTube. What I mean is help them with their immediate problem. Answer simple, basic questions that enable them to progress and forget about selling your premium stuff in a video. If you help them and they want more, they will come back to you, but you have to give them something first. Think of it as an investment. Your time and energy is spent on creating highly valuable videos, and those videos help people solve the immediate problem or issue they're facing. If that problem comes up for them again, or another person asks them how they solved it, your name is the answer they give. Not only that, but when you add a call to action in your videos that guides the viewer to solve the next problem they're about to face, and then provide that for free too, but this time in exchange for their contact details, you now have a lead magnet that is attracting warm leads into your business. For example, if all of this sounds amazing, but you have no idea how to apply what I'm talking about into your business, then download the free five-step creator framework that's linked in the description below, and it will help you make videos that convert traffic into leads for your business. Do you see what I did there? If not, rewind and take some notes. And to clarify, there is actually a link in the description for the document that I just spoke about. Tip three, 
learn as you go. So many businesses think that their first video is going to make or break their channel, or they want to have a high production value, and by that I mean the best lighting, camera, background, and so on. The truth is, people resonate with you more on YouTube when you are being authentic, genuine, and honest. All you need to do is be yourself and learn as you go. You're not about to make the next blockbuster video. Even if you hire an expensive videographer, it takes time to hone the skills and to be in front of the camera. So if I can encourage you, wipe your expectation clean and create your first video with your smartphone using the window light and a pile of books to angle the camera. This is where so many successful people have started and you can too. It's all about the value you give and the way you help people. Nothing else matters when you're just getting started. So get recording. To put that into perspective, I do this full time now and I've only invested 150 pounds into my entire setup. That's cheap lighting, a tripod for my phone with an attachment and a wired clip-on mic. I use my smartphone to record with a free app and the podcast mic that I have is about 20 years old. But hopefully that demonstrates you don't need much to get started or even use it long term. Now that bonus tip that I spoke about at the start of the video. So thank you very much for watching to the end. Do like and subscribe if you found this helpful. And my last tip for you today is that YouTube takes time to grow. You know the saying, good things come to those who wait. Well, YouTube is a bit like that. You can follow all of the advice in the world and still struggle to grow. However, there's a lot of things you can do to minimize the chance of growing slowly. That's what this channel is dedicated towards, but really the secret is to keep at it. You will have moments of inspiration and moments of low motivation. You're probably going to feel like giving up at some point before you start getting huge momentum. That is exactly why I recommend starting with low production value, just using what you have available right now and work out if this is actually for you and your business long term. Those that do decide to stick with it, even when motivation is low, emerge the other side with some awesome results that positively impact their business. For more YouTube tips and tricks in your business, tap the video on the screen right now and I'll see you in the next one.